Hey guys, we are back. We're going to be, we're talking about mixtures and solutions today. So we are going to create an ocean right here in the classroom and you can create one at home as well if you'd like. Um, some of the things that you'll need, you'll need a little um, cup of sand, some rocks, a cup of water, um, and a little bit of salt. You'll need something to mix with and then paper towel and some sort of strainer. You might have one that looks like this in your kitchen or it could look a little differently um, and then a black piece of paper so even if you have part of these materials you can do part of this experiment with us and if you're missing something you can just skip that part because we're going to show it all to you now here but I know sometimes it's fun to be involved in that as well so in order to create our ocean we need a couple things right we need our sand so Abby if you'll take our sand and kind of dump it into our little pretend ocean there and Will, if you'll take our rocks <laughs> and you'll dump them into the ocean. Are you having trouble seeing with that contraption you have on? Kind of. Okay, so we've got the, you know, the bottom of our ocean, if you will. Now we have to create the actual salt water, right? Because the ocean is not just regular water. Don't go take a big gulp of it. It is salt water. So we've got some salt here, and we're going to go ahead and dump it in this water. And if you guys will kind of mix that. Now, interesting thing, when you're mixing something like this, when you're mixing salt into water or sugar into water, it's dissolving, right? Um, so you should have learned at this point that if it's dissolving and changing its physical properties, then it is turning into a solution, right? Now, the other thing is the solubility of the water is only so great. So you cannot pour, like I could not pour this entire, entire cup full of salt in there and it would dissolve, right? There's a certain point where the water cannot handle any more salt. Okay. So if you're mixing and you seem to notice that there's still some on the bottom, then that's because it's maxed out, basically. It cannot mix anymore, okay? So that will happen. So we didn't pour all of it in there. We just got enough. But you can kind of see that it's cloudy now. So that gives us that um, salt water that we're looking for. So now we're going to go ahead and dump that into our ocean, right? So our ocean is all churned up there. We've got our sand, our rocks, our salt water. We just need some waves now, right? Okay. So now the big task that we have is we got to separate these things back out there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. So what do you think? How are we going to be able to do that? Okay. So we are going to have to use the strainer, okay? So what do you think is, is the strainer going to take out? Um, the rocks, okay. So where will the rocks go? Okay. And the water will flow out, okay? Now, the only other tricky part is we have sand in here, too. So, you check this out, right? What might happen with that sand? It's going to go out. Yeah, it's going to go right through, right? So we're going to have to, we're going to take a handy paper towel, and we're going to use that to kind of help us with this first part. So, Will, if you will, take that and go ahead and pour it right on top here. And we'll see if we can separate this out. Oh, handy. <laughs> I think so. Oh, so it, we kind of have, have it work in a couple ways. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, so we've got our water coming out. Okay, kind of a slow drip, but we have, we have an issue. We're stuck in there, aren't we? Okay? So now we have to figure out, well, how are we going to be able to separate that out from... If we pick the paper towel out, it might flow out faster. Okay, if we pick the paper towel out, it could flow out faster. We always got to be thinking as scientists, right? Sometimes things go exactly how you think they're going to go, and other times you have to make changes along the way. That's what makes a good scientist. Man, I picked like a good paper towel, right? Yeah. Should have picked like the cheapo one. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you know what? There's some sand in there, too. Oh. Yep. So, you know, we're kind of making do here. Once that some of that sand came out, so it was keeping the water from coming out. I'll show you here in a second. Easy, that. Easy. You don't want the sand to go out that way. You want to be able to show it. Okay, so we can kind of show you here. 
that so we got our water in here now right now it is kind of still a little mucky because it was in the sand right so the super super fine particles are going to be kind of still in that water but here we go we've got the sand that is left behind in our paper towel so we've kind of sorted out that part we've got our sand here um, in here, we still have sand and rock. So what is another way that you can separate a mixture? How do you think you could separate that, Will? How could you get those rocks out of there? Put more water. You could. Could you use your hands? Yes. Okay, pick a couple of rocks out of there. If the particles are big enough, one of the ways that we can separate is we can separate by using our hands as well, right? So we can use a strainer, we can use a paper towel, we can use our hands, and we can separate those out, okay? So if we wanted to, we could sit here. I bet you probably don't want to watch us separate rocks from sand all day, but we could do it, right? So that's how we can separate it, with our hands, with a strainer, with the paper towel. Now we have one more thing left. You're, I know what you're thinking. Pocket A, you have not separated it all out yet. Because what is still in here, guys? What's still in this water? Salt. Ah, the salt water, right? So that's where our black piece of paper comes in. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, so here's what we gotta do. That's, so take your finger, both of you take your finger, dip it, not all, just dip right up in here, okay? And then I want you to kind of write, just go like that on the paper with your finger, okay? Now, crazy thing, about when we dissolve our water, right, into our, or our salt into our water, we are, oops, we're not doing that permanently. It actually can be separated back out. So that's what we're gonna be able to see here is that once we let this dry, right, part of it is going to evaporate. What part do you think is gonna evaporate? The salt, the water, or both? The water. The water, yeah. So can salt evaporate? No, salt can't evaporate, but water sure can, right? So if you write on black paper like this, if you've got enough salt in your water, what you'll be able to see is, I need this to evaporate a little faster. What you'll be able to see is what's left will be the salt. The water will be gone, so we won't be able to see that water anymore, but the salt will be left. So you'll kind of see like a crusty, white streak if you will okay so what we might have to do is we might have to use the magic of video right to pause our video and we'll kind of wait and we'll watch this as we do other videos for you guys and then we'll kind of come back on and show you what it looks like after it's evaporated okay if we were if you were in the classroom right now we would set it to the side on the back counter and we would come in the next day to check out what happened okay so we'll go ahead and do that we'll come back and show you guys what happens after the water evaporates 